Hello friends. We have officially entered into a new and beautiful spring season here in my little corner of Ohio. This is a season where the days are growing longer as the sunshine is gracing us with its presence later into the evening, which makes me so incredibly happy. A season where the birds are rapidly returning, building their nests to start their springtime families. The spring peepers sing their sweet songs in the marshes and the trees are waking from their sleepy winter rest as new life literally pulses through their veins and they produce a gloriously refreshing show of colorful buds and blossoms. The turning over of a new leaf into a new season always has me feeling so excited and incredibly nostalgic. I love to make food that reminds me and makes me feel close to women in my family who have gone before me and labored faithfully in their kitchens to nourish their families the best way that they know how. So this week when I was making these sourdough biscuits, it transported me right back to both my mama's and my grandmama's kitchens. I swear, as I was dusting my countertop with flour, I could see my grandma's long slender fingers, nails painted bright red, doing the exact same thing as she prepared biscuits or cornbread to pair alongside some savory dish. As I rolled out my dough and cut out the biscuit shapes, I was transported to being a teenager in our rural home and getting excited for supper as my mama's delicious homemade biscuits and sausage gravy filled the house with mouth-watering and comforting smells. The women who raised and influenced me in the way I do things in the kitchen had a style of cooking that had no frills but always warmed your body and soul and were the creators of true cozy comfort food. While I am a little more experimental with herbs and spices than they were, I think this soul food gene runs deep in my veins as it is what I often find myself creating in my kitchen. I am so excited to share this recipe with you all as I have endeavored to take your grandma's classic biscuit recipe and just make it slightly more nutritious and digestible by creating a long fermented sourdough version. And let me tell you, these biscuits do not disappoint. Light and fluffy with a hint of that rich sourdough flavor, lots of the flaky layers in between. Man, these delights will wrap you in a warm and familial hug with each and every bite. So I started out by measuring two and a half cups of all-purpose flour in a large mixing bowl. You'll want to use glass or ceramic bowl um, because this dough is going to be sitting in the bowl for quite a long time to ferment. Next, I used a cheese grater and shredded eight tablespoons of frozen butter on top. The butter doesn't have to be frozen, um, but I just prefer it to be frozen because it's easier to shred with a cheese grater. So after you've shredded the butter on top, you stir well and then create a crater in the center of the butter and flour mixture and add three quarters cup of bubbly and active starter, two tablespoons of honey, three quarters of a cup of milk. Stir all this together really well, and honestly, I just use my hands to incorporate it really well, just um, kneading over and over again until a smooth ball is formed. I wanted to try a really long fermented dough, so I let this sit on my counter for probably about 26 hours, and it was really nice the next day. It had gotten a little more puffy, um, but I think it would take a lot to over ferment this dough. Obviously, if you're making this in like the heat of summer, I would maybe do a little less, like eight to 16 hours and just keep checking on it. But um, I think this dough can be fermented for a good long while. So you wanna make sure that you cover the dough um, with either a lid or plastic wrap and yeah, just let it sit for however long you want. You can do overnight um, or up to a whole day, like 24 hours, um, like I did. And 
and then after the dough has fermented um, for your desired amount of time, add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And knead well on a floured surface with your hands until all of the ingredients are incorporated well. After all the ingredients are incorporated well, you want to generously flour your countertop again and roll out the dough with a rolling pin to about an inch thickness. Cut out the biscuit shapes with a wide mouth mason jar and place on a lined cookie sheet and let sit for about 30 minutes while the oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oven is preheated, bake these delicious biscuits for 14 to 20 minutes. I check after 14 minutes um, just so they don't overbake. I think I did mine for about 15 minutes. Um, but you just want to look for a nice golden brown coloring on the top and want them to be cooked all the way through in the center. These biscuits seriously were amazing. Straight out of the oven, they were so light and fluffy. They smelled so good. Top these with a slab of grass-fed butter or make sausage gravy to go along with them or throw on some jam, turn them into an egg sandwich, serve them alongside soup. There's seriously so many ways you can use these biscuits um, and you won't be sorry that you made them. Thank you so much for watching this recipe. I really hope you guys give it a try. Um, I can't really have wheat right now, but I tried a little bite of this with some butter and oh my gosh, it was so amazing. Um, I think this recipe is worthy of being a staple in every woman's recipe collection in her kitchen. So I really hope you guys give it a try. Let me know in the comments below if you do. And yeah, happy baking. Elliot, you know what's cool? So right now you have to use the glasses. It still would really hurt your eyes. But in a little bit, when mommy and daddy tell you, we can all look without the glasses because the moon is gonna completely cover the sun and then it will it'll be safe to look at the sun. But you can't look until mommy and daddy tell you, okay? He looks right. up right away. <laughs> yeah. Elliot, do but not he, look up. He, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's definitely basically. it's yeah. definitely getting darker now. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Elliot, are you it's excited like, to look up and see? It's like sunset, sun? but different. Yeah, <laughs> it is it is different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because the oh, it's almost like back. the shadows oh, like, you know, get low in the sky and stuff mm -hmm. for sunset, but this is Oh, the church bells. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's three o'clock. So I unintentionally got a really cool photo, Jordan. Oh, really? That's a crazy looking picture of the sun. I didn't try to do it like that, but... An impromptu, like, thing with Here the glasses. Here are these glasses. Because oh. the moon is covering the 
That hawk is like, does it think that, does it think that we're dead? Something. Oh, wow, that's cool. Look, there's two behind us, too. Oh, they really do think that. They wow. They're like, the moon what? has brought us. I don't know. <laughs> this is our nature. One, two, three, four. They're going to, like, cool. scope this thing Maybe out. Maybe they're we'll getting to... ready for bed. Yeah. Maybe they're like, <laughs> it's oh night time. Our last, time to roost our down. Let's fly around before we go to bed. They're like, wait a minute. I didn't think it was quite night time yet, so, but... So our first observation is the hawks. As the hawks. Yeah. So we got, I mean, technically it's 3.15, I think, right? Or is it... I thought it was a little before 3.15. Well, that was 3.08. Probably, it's looking like it. What time is it now? It is... <laughs> See how the sun warms us up? Elliot? Yeah. Getting closer and closer. It's right. Mm -hmm, baby. That is right. Glasses, I'll just take some video. Yeah. my glasses. Yeah, Elliot, can you sit down, buddy? Elliot, either sit down or stand still, okay? Yeah, you can stand up, just don't jump. <laughs> Jordan's playing with his phone during the eclipse. You know, <laughs> when in Rome. So what does it look like if you do this? Yeah, mm -hmm. I tried. It's... Oh, it's hard for it to focus. Yeah, that's the main. Look, look. Yeah, it's a teeny tiny little sliver now. So we still got some shadow, shadowage. Shadowage looks pretty normal. That shadow of the tree actually looks pretty cool. I know, it's oh, so there. interesting. It's getting so dark, but I kind of want to like film it get dark like this. I know, oh my goodness, there's just a little teeny, teeny oh little gosh, thing. Oh gosh, a weensy weens. <laughs> Elliot, what do you think about it getting dark? I oh, you can kind of like... Dark and nighttime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that just happened, guys. That just happened. Oh my gosh, it's only a weensy weensy bat. Oh my goodness. You can almost like see the whole outline of the sun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can't even see it now. Okay, so now we can take our glasses off. Oh my oh! gosh. Jesse, get, see if you can get that with you. Wow. Isn't that cool, Elliot? Yeah, it's, it's this covered the, the sun. Wow. It goes round and around and around the sun. What is the um, oh, thing? It the goes white round and around. It goes round and around. It's completely cool? covered by the moon oh, now. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's I can so see what people say, like, that is wow. a whole new level of experience that yes. you don't get with a partial. That's so cool! Yeah. 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 No, it's so cool! So cool! Like, it's night time. I didn't expect the glow well, to be let's that. Do the, let's do the clap thing though. <laughs> 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 Woo! Good job, God. Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait, let's listen for a second. Come on. Did you see that? And you, you know the moon went in front of the sun, yeah? Wow, and it's so it's almost like the same brightness that a full moon gives off. Mm. <laughs> Which is funny because it's like the opposite. The opposite. <laughs> Somehow right. you just were like forgetting. Oh, well, well, I mean, this is a No, no, right again. Not if you want to look at the sun, buddy. You can, you can just, you, you can, can play, sun, but yeah. if you want to look at the sun, you have to wear your glasses. Oh, okay. Oh, did yeah. that one at home? No, push me. Push you? Yeah. Push you? Up, 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 up and away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 